Hey everyone, it's Dale from the WebPub class, and I want to walk you through the process of adding JavaScript to your site or to a page so that you can add a photo slideshow, among other things. Uh, first, a really quick refresh of what JavaScript is. JavaScript is a language, but it's a programming language, and unlike CSS, HTML, which deals with style and how things look, JavaScript deals with functionality. It lets people do things with your page. And so you'll see that when we add this Lightbox uh, photo gallery, photo slideshow to your site, it will allow people not just to look at pictures, but your site will then begin to interact with them. And so uh, it starts to add a lot of functionality to your site. So again, we're gonna use the Lightbox uh, JavaScript to go through our photo slideshow. And uh, first thing you want to do is just Google Lightbox, and it'll be the first, uh, first link that comes up here. Um, so when you go to the Lightbox page, the first thing you will want to do is download it. Um, it's going to download a zip file. Um, just drag that to your desktop somewhere and unzip it, double click to unzip it. And you'll now have a new box there uh, a new folder called Lightbox. So when you open this, um, this should look pretty familiar because when we dealt with Bootstrap, we had a CSS folder, we have an IMG folder, we have an index.html, and we have a JavaScript folder. Here's my Project 3 folder, which was our Bootstrap folder, and it's very similar. So um, nothing in here should freak you out all that much or anything like that. And then when you look in each of these folders, um, he's got some arrows here, and then here are the demo pictures that we'll use. Uh, if you open this with Chrome, this is actually just his website. So um, he's giving you the code to his website. And then here are a couple of JavaScript files. So let's go back to the Lightbox uh, site really quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. If you scroll down, uh, he has two different examples here. He has a two-image example and a four-image example. Uh, for the purpose of your uh, project, your photo slideshow project, you're going to need 10 to 20 images. So I would grab the four-image set since that's a couple less things that you'll have to copy and paste. Now, the developer does have some instructions here, and they're pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to walk you through the process just like he did. So inside Text Wrangler, I am going to open up his uh, index.html page because I want to look at that code really quickly. So I have my um, I have my index page, and I have his index page. Um, I'm going to relabel this just for the sake of clarity so you can see which one I'm looking at at all times. So I'm going to call this lightbox.html. Okay, so now here I am in the lightbox index page. And you can see he has uh, a couple of style sheets here attached. Uh, we right now just want to deal with this one. So first thing I'm going to do is copy that. And then I'm going to go into mine, and right here under my couple of style sheets, I'm going to add that lightbox.css to it as well. If I save that and go back to my incredibly simple basic bootstrap page and click refresh, nothing happened. And that's because, one, I haven't moved the file over, but two, I haven't added anything to the page that would access or need that style sheet. So you won't see any uh, big changes just yet. Okay, so let's go back to the Lightbox page, and there's one more thing we need to do. Um, if you scroll down here and you see these two script tags right here, this is the actual JavaScript language that we need to make sure Lightbox runs. So again, I'm going to go back to my very basic uh, site, and you can see down here I have uh, some other JavaScript stuff, so I'm going to paste it down there, and I'm going to just make sure my code is still clean. So I'm just going to do that right there. Again, I save that and I go back and refresh. Again, nothing happened for the same reason. I have uh, nothing in here that's requiring that JavaScript just yet. So now I've got uh, I've got the, the bare bones ready. Um, I'm ready to start looking at code, but before I do that, I wanna go ahead and move his files over to my folders. 
So I've got my project three folder right here. I've got his Lightbox folder right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these style sheets and I'm going to drag them over to my project three. The images, I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of these and move them. Oh, I have not created an image folder yet. I was redoing this for the sake of this example. So I will have an image folder there. So now I'm going to move those images there. And then I'm going to grab all of these JavaScript files and move them to our JavaScript folder there. Okay, so now we're ready to actually go into the code and find the, uh, find the slideshow itself and then customize it to how we want it. So I'm going to go back to the Lightbox code and let's go up here. Now, if you remember, I'm going to go to wrap this so we can read it a little easier. Um, don't get intimidated by all this code. We're looking for a couple of things, if you remember. Um, he has these two examples, so we're looking for this code. Um, there are a couple ways we could do that. We could right click and inspect element, and it'll bring up some of the things there. It'll bring up the code, and you can actually click on that to see where each thing is. So I can see right here that here is the code for the two example. Uh, if I scroll down and then find the for example, oops, it was right here. Um, so that's an easy way to find a piece of code you're looking for. Um, you don't really need to do that on this though because this page is pretty simple and the code is very easy to find. You can see these H3s here, here are the headers. So here's the for image set right here. So I know that this is the code I'm looking for right here. You can see there are two divs, so I'm going to go down to two div closing tags. But before I copy and paste this, I just want to walk you through what's in this code. So if you look at it here, let's just, uh, I've already copied this, so I'm going to just separate this a little bit. Just so let's just focus on this right here. This is an A tag that is wrapped around an image. So it, when you think about it, this is going to be an image that shows up. And you can see right here, it says thumb. So this is going to be the thumbnail that people see originally. Then when they click on the photo, the JavaScript will make the image get bigger and it'll darken out the rest of the page. So let me go back to his page now and you can see this as an example. Here are those thumbnails. And when you click on them, the JavaScript has brought the page out and darkened the rest of the site. Now here's where the arrow keys come into play. Now I can sit through or uh, go through the slideshow with those arrow keys. I can X out here and I can read captions here. So that's what we're looking for. Now I've already copy and pa uh, copied that code. And so I'm going to paste it right here uh, underneath my, uh, underneath my uh, header. And I'm just going to clean up this code a little bit so that everything remains consistent. And then I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this again so we can see that more easily. Okay, so we're we're good to go. I'm I have OCD, so I'm gonna do this really quickly. Okay, so now we're good to go. And when I save this, because I've already moved over all his demo images, now when I go back here, I have thumbnails, and when I click on them. Um, I get the full image. You will notice that they don't look exactly the same. You notice his are a lot smaller and they have these rounded edges. That's because that is in the second style sheet that was attached here. So remember when uh, we were in the Lightbox CS, uh, CSS folder, I had copied over lightbox.css and screen.css. So depending on your theme, it might cause some things to break. So you can try this. Um, you can try adding screen.css, but just know you might be uh, breaking things on your site. That's okay. Um, you can always fix them later or you can take it out and do that again. Uh, you can see he has uh, some CSS attached for an H1 that made this much bigger, but it also changed um, these. So what I could do is go back into my prevalent uh, CSS or style sheet and change these back. 
Um, there are many ways to get around that if you want this look. So um, play with the style and get them back the way you want. So now that I know that this works, um, I can go back to the code and now it'll just be a matter of adding my images. So the thumbnail images that you create, um, I'm going to go to my Facebook page quickly. Um, and I'm just going to grab a couple of these really quickly. Um, so I have four images here from a recent state park visit. So now I'm gonna to go to Pixlr. I'm going to open these, which they're just on my desktop. I'll open this first one. Now I'm fine with this full size image, but I want the thumbnail to be a certain size. So I want it to be 250 by 250. So I'm gonna set that and then create a new image and make it 250 by 250 copy and paste that and now I'm gonna call this thumb uh, let's call it thumb beach and make sure you're spelling things correctly which I'm having some problem doing um, so there's thumb beach and I'm gonna go ahead and save this to project 3 and I'm gonna save it to my IMG folder okay so now I'm going to open well, let's just do that one first. So I'm going to go back here. Here was the, uh, I need to find that original file that I did. It's this one. So now I want this one just called beach because I had thumb and then I have thumb beach. So I'm going to move this into my IMG folder. So now I can go back to my code and what I'm going to do right here on this first one, instead of thumb three here, this is going to be thumb beach. But also, I just have it in my IMG folder. I'm not using the demo page folder anymore, so I can get rid of that. And then same thing here. This will become beach.jpg. So let me save that. And let's go back to our original site. And now you can see it's replaced with that. And uh, when I click on that, I now get the full image. So one last thing I need to show you is right here is where you change the caption. So uh, this is a uh, beachside shot from Mustang Island State Park in Corpus Christi, Texas. Okay, so now when I save that and I go back, nothing has changed here, but when I click on the photo again, now here is the new caption that I need. So remember, you're telling a story with these photos. They need to be in a logical narrative, a logical order. The captions will help tell the story, but think visually, think, uh, you know, your storytellers, your journalism students. So I have no doubt you will, you will do that as well. Um, so that's it. Now it would just be a process of inserting your image in these places and we need 20 of them or 10 to 20 of them. So that would just be a matter of doing this. And then you would insert your images into each one of these. So um, if I go ahead and save this and now go back, we're going to get a lot of this one thumbnail. But you can see how the, the slideshow now is taking place. And when I go through these, I will see each image full screen. So that's it. JavaScript in a very quick nutshell, how to add a photo slideshow using Lightbox. Get creative with it. Tell a good story. And I'm excited to see y'all's photos.